You're watching Greater Brockton, Mark Lindy, your host, and today I have a familiar face to Brockton viewers, someone who's been a lifelong Brocktonian, done a lot of good things for Brockton. Usually he's sitting across the chair with me uh, talking about the Brockton Historical Society, but not today. It's okay. Carl Landerholm. Welcome, Carl. <laughs> nice to see you. Thank you. Carl's got a new role. You're the president of the Brockton High School Alumni Association. This is true. And I remember back a few years ago during one of the concerts, you were honored by the Brockton High School Alumni mm -hmm. Association for kind of lifetime achievement of all the different things you did. Carl, you're a planner. You have someone that, um, you know, over the years between building commission and different things that you've been involved in, had a, had a lot of vision. And now you have a lot of vision for this. Yes. Okay, Brockton High, um, what year were you? <laughs> this very weekend will be our 60th year. Amazing. Okay, uh, And we're gathering together for the few of us that are left. That's nice. <laughs> I'm getting ready for my 40th. I'm at 38 right now, but I'll okay. be 40 soon because I was class of 79. I loved Brockton High. Brockton High, yes. um, and I was at the new one. I was at Brockton High when it was pretty new. It was, uh, oh, I was 79, so I started there in 75. So it was relatively a brand new building right. at the point that I was there. You were at the old Brockton That's High right. <laughs> um, when they had two buildings, the A and the B building. Yep. It got overcrowded. Brockton Grew. population rose. You That's had double right. sessions. Junior high at that point was seven, eight, and nine mm -hmm. because they couldn't fit nine in the high school. That's exactly and right. And now here we are years later. The high school is, what, 50 years old, something like that? Well, it, it was built in 1970. Okay, so it's, it's, it's seen... It's seen some better days, but uh, there were plans to, you know, I've heard there possibly, if any kind of money's there, build another building, then move people out of one building, fix that building, move to another building. We can't build a new high school, I don't think, in Brockton. No. And I think the smartest thing Brockton ever did was build the one high school, because the communities that had a north and a south or an east and a west, that's where people fought with each other. I think the that's best right. thing Brockton ever did, and it was controversial at the time, and you remember it better than I do. Yes, I, I do. was in elementary school at that point. But Brockton High has something for everybody. We have sports teams. We have drama. We have uh, student government. We have music. We have a little bit of everything. Clubs for everything and yep. everybody. Courses from, you know, when I was there, it was... Uh, basic standard honors advance. It wasn't politically correct. It wasn't college prep or academic nope. prep or these politically correct terms. But when I graduated, there were 1,562 students in my class. And I remember that because I just made it into the honor society in the top 10. I was 152. I wasn't top. I was in the top 10, the top 20. That's pretty because important. what I did is I got involved. Mm -hmm. I got involved in student government. I got involved in things like that. So what are you hoping to do with the Alumni Association? You're kind of reinvigorating it, I guess. Yes, absolutely. The folks have, for the last uh, seven years, done a good job for scholarships. Mm -hmm. But there's a camaraderie that uh, you find at a, a class reunion. And if you have an Alumni Association where everybody has the same information coming to them, and the promise of the passion, and that's what it takes to uh, function as Brockton High. I can share the old passion from mm -hmm. the old high school. There were nine couples that met in the connecting corridor between A and B building. Mm -hmm. We were at our 55th reunion, all nine couples, including my wife and myself, who met in the connecting corridor Mm. All still married, all still alive. That's pretty good. That's great. Yeah. And that kind of relationship has lasted throughout the year. But with an association, an alumni association, it gets a broader spectrum of young people in, involved with older people. Mm -hmm. They can mentor. Mm -hmm. They can, through decent organization, which is the goal, the vision that uh, Superintendent Kathy Smith shared with me, and I said that I would pull the cat mm -hmm. for a given length of time till we had an executive director. Bob Saltzman is an absolute gem of resource and enthusiasm. So when you mix that combination together, we have a wonderful opportunity. Uh, the, the fact that we honored Steve Green as a, a distinguished citizen right. uh, just a few months ago now, uh, it shows the class of 
individuals who are graduates of Brockton High, my grandchildren, uh, the oldest guy, Eric, totally successful in business. And it was attributed to the sports of swimming, mm -hmm. coaching, and business. And he's done wonderfully well. Uh, we've got teachers in the family, all graduates. Uh, my sister was a teacher for 38 years up the Hancock School. Mm -hmm. That kind of passion to instill in every level of young people and older alumni to let them know how important the education is. My uh, one granddaughter is a glass blower, Laurie, mm -hmm. and she's professional. And she has a studio in, in Boston. Mm -hmm. It's because of that kind of class. Uh, another daughter who, a granddaughter, who graduated from Brockman High and then went to school and got a degree in three years and then went back to the school as a teacher. Her husband works for Curic. He's a graduate of Brockton High and uh, the music program was right. the bind. So I made it from fourth to eighth grade and Vinny scared me away. I didn't do high school, but my son went through four years with Vinny and all the different bands. Was challenged at one point because there were too many first trombones to learn yep. the baritone horn so he could go on his class trip to Bush Gardens and he did it in a month. And that's because of Vinny. And if you look at what we've seen with Vinny, with drama, we have drama, music, sports, everything under the sun. I would never be in television if we didn't have a television studio at Brockton High. That's right. It was old black and white and it was two chords and <laughs> analog and all of that, but it, you but get it the was point. There. But I got the two minute cue. So yep. you get one of the last, or a minute and a half. Tell the folks out there how you want to get them involved and you know your vision. My vision is to have the uh, graduates of Brockton High actually show the passion that they were given as an educational component and they're giving it to their family because of the inspiration that uh, the Alumni Association can be the catalyst for. The passion that I refer to for the, uh, the school is that it's a magnificent facility and what can be done to inspire all levels of teaching, learning, and growing is something that the Alumni Association can focus on, showcase, and show that the future can be so bright for those who have already had success. So please keep the Alumni Association for Brockton High School in your thoughts because we're going to do great things. Thank you. Carl, thank you. I couldn't think of a better person to head it. <laughs> so you know you have my full support and I got a whole bunch of ideas. We'll pick my brain, we'll talk to Bob and we'll go forward. Outstanding. Okay. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.